Green Ink Gallery features the work of artist Julia McLemore. And Julia has a fantastic process that she does with real flowers and that are um, petal by petal and leaf by leaf put together and then photographed. Well, it's actually not with a camera, but uh, through a press and creates this beautiful work. Some which is mounted in regular frames and then with the acrylic squares and also her cards, which are also frameable in a five by seven size. And Julia resides now here in Charlevoix as well. And her work has been shown in different galleries in Michigan and Ohio and um, other places throughout the country. Yvette Dixon, who designs are called Love Smitten Designs, uh, is also here from Charlevoix. She moved here from New Orleans and she makes these beautiful pendants featuring scenes of Michigan with uh, crystals and sand inside the lockets. She can do special designs. She does them of lighthouses, the state. She does a U of M Michigan State locket and uh, they come with a sterling silver chain and they are in different sizes and have been a very popular item and she has a little shop over at uh, Walloon in the village. Maple syrup, one of the loved products of Michigan. The beautiful baskets here and uh, other maple uh, candies and maple sugar are done by Harwood Heritage Gold. And um, they have their wonderful gift baskets. They are also at the Charlevoix Farmer's Market and I'm sure other farmer's markets also. And uh, Harwood Heritage is also from Charlevoix. This photography is by Bill Dietrich. Bill is a founding member of the Char uh, Charlevoix Photography Club. And as you can see, he has beautiful shots. Uh, some that are mounted in acrylic, uh, others which are done on um, these photographs are of the leaves uh, are mounted on metal. Photography has definitely come a long way from just holding a little photograph in your hand. Here we have the work of Rusty Bolt. Rusty is a grandson of Russ and Sue Bolt, very well known Charlevoix artist. As you can tell, Rusty has definitely um, following in his grandparents and his footsteps with his um, work and his in the clay and all the darling little snowman ornaments in the sand, Santa Clauses. Uh, behind work here, we have work of Lori Bolt and Russell Bolt. Uh, with their different paintings. And Lori is Russ and Sue's daughter. They also do note cards uh, based on some of the paintings and individual cards. This table showcases the pottery of Sue Bull, also known for her wonderful paintings and her angels, which are up on the wall. Lori is flower painting over here and the beautiful scarves that she is doing out of recycled materials with different prints and paintings on them. So a very talented Charlevoix family. Very well known in the art world for many, many years. They also have prints available in addition to the originals. Russ Bolt's paintings here featuring uh, some of his outdoor scenes that he is very, very well known for. Um, Russ has been painting for many, many years. They also, at their studio, which is located out on Marion Center Road, 
uh, do these wonderful tiles that uh, people collect and um, have, again, the, the Christmas scenes and the snowmen, the children's skiing, and Sue's Angels. Very well known and um, definitely collectible items. Ross and Sue have been married for 65 years this fall. And um, as I said before, their children are definitely following in their footsteps. Here we have the work of Linda Boss, also from Charlevoix. Linda is uh, a painter and uh, does a wonderful job with, uh, does a lot of glass painting and a lot of Charlevoix scenes of the bridge and the lighthouse and um, Lake Charlevoix and Round Lake. And um, she is well known also for her Christmas ornaments and her glass painting of which you see a variety here. She does custom work and work by order and um, people can visit her website as well. Edith Pear is well known in the Charlevoix area as, as well, and Edith does a lot of whimsical work and uh, does a lot of uh, furniture painting and glass designs and uh, wonderful little cheese boards and squares and her fish, all with a little bit of a whimsical nature and her business name is L. Air Studio. And she can be contacted through a website as well, or through the circle. Trish Morgan Bean is also from Charlevoix, Charlevoix native. Trish is a watercolor painter, um, well known for scenes from the Charlevoix area, Lake Charlevoix, her sales school pictures and prints. She is also an illustrator with Su uh, in Susan Malpass's books and um, does her beautiful cards as well. And um, Peach Bloom Hill is the name of Trisha's um, website and uh, her business. She also does a commission work, uh, having just finished two for Christmas presents. Here we have the work of um, three Michigan people, Greta, Rita Ling, Tammy Graham, and Joyce Nolan, who now resides in Texas. Um, they are all jewelers, and uh, Tammy Graham does a lot of enamel works uh, Greta does a lot of work in silver. Joyce makes a lot of necklaces. Uh, all three have shown at art shows in this area and also can be seen at Elements. Beautiful pieces and all one of a kind. Julie Cradle from Fat Pony Studios in the Traverse City area is well known for her animal sculptures and her pottery. Um, Julie does show here at a couple of the Charlevoix area art shows as well. Just a little bit of a whimsical nature with some beautiful pieces. I love that one. This jewelry is designed by Link Walkler. Link is well-known jewelry designer. He has won many awards in jewelry design. Here he is featuring some of the creations of Charlevoix's own Todd Warner in sterling silver pieces. And uh, a whimsical nature, and he's done a beautiful job of recreating some, some of Todd's characters. Again, some more pieces from uh, Todd and Link's 
very unique, wonderful collection of jewelry. This has been a collaboration for Link and Todd for the last um, about three years. And uh, just fun pieces and beautifully, beautifully done. The work displayed here is from Jordan Valley Glassworks in East Jordan. Uh, well known in this area and nationwide. They have sent pieces to um, the State House in Lansing as well as the White House in Washington, D.C. and do a masterful job at their studio in their, with their glass. Um, they are open year-round. They have uh, glass blowing there for people to actually try at the studio and they're like located, as I said, in East Jordan. Jo Moffat has a studio in Norwood. She is also well known in Northwestern Michigan with her beautiful um, porcelain, um, very delicate designs. She also has some prints and uh, does cards from some of her paintings. But I think her pottery is exquisite and it's different and um, beautifully done. Also, she has some pins that are porcelain pins. And um, she does art shows and her studio again is in Norwood. Yvonne Moran is from South Wardman and uh, her business is called 47 Sweaters and she makes one-of-a-kind pieces out of recycled sweaters, um, jackets. She creates some of her own jackets and embellishes them. Well known for the children's moccasins, which in a cold winter night definitely keep those little tootsies warm. Purses, sweat mittens, um, scarves, and um, Yvonne shows also at some of the Charlevoix area art shows. She also can be found on Etsy.com. Fiber artist Nell Vickers presents these pieces made out of alpaca, uh, created from her own award-winning herd. Um, at Maplewood Farm. Uh, alpaca offers a great variety of colors, as you can see, and um, has so many characteristics that are perfect for use in your home. It's tough, it's resilient, it's warm, it's farm flame retardant, and the floor cloths are absolutely gorgeous. And if you really want to be warm, you can look at her socks that she makes from alpaca for cold northern Michigan winter nights. Luann Griffin is a member of the Charlevoix Photography Club and she has excellent representation of Charlevoix area and northern Michigan sites. Um, she has prints available unframed, framed also on canvases and uh, is a welcome addition to our Christmas show. Alan Lisi from Lisi Photography. Alan is a member of the Chicago the Charlevoix Photography Club also and uh, does some magnificent award-winning and first place showing uh, in some of his pictures. Uh, again, his prints are available framed, unframed. Magnificent work 
from the Charlevoix area. You'll often see his pictures on Facebook as well. Alan also uh, does, and Chris, his wife, do photography for weddings and senior portraits, family outings, corporate events, product photos. They're into all aspects of photography. Lisi Photography, Charlevoix, Michigan. Here we have the work of uh, fiber artist Kathy Briggs from Charlevoix. Kathy is a member of several guilds that deal with fiber arts and uh, has been nationally recognized, teaches classes, lives here in Charlevoix, does a beautiful job, well known for her dolls, her purses, and gorgeous silk scarves, as well as her wall work. David and June Otis from Otis Pottery uh, and their stoneware uh, business started over 40 years ago. And David focuses on functional work while June crafts intricate hand-built figures and framed pieces. Uh, their son also, Andrew, has joined them in the business. Uh, their studio is in East Jordan on M66 and uh, they are very well known throughout the area doing many art shows uh, all over Michigan. Their studio is in a hundred year old homestead just two miles south of the Irontown Ferry on 66. This table shows the artistic works of Katrina Nosak. Um, her handmade, homemade soaps and candles and such an interesting number of patterns, little Christmas trees, snowmen, um, beautiful bars of soap, uh, glycerin soaps, and um, Candles made out of different wax and her ornaments. And um, Katrina is, lives here in the Charlevoix area as well. And is a fairly new addition to the circle. Make excellent stocking stuffers and gifts for any time of the year and we have them in the gift shop at the Circle all the time. <clears throat> this is showcasing the work of Preston LaShore who makes, hand makes all the different custom guitars uh, that have been rather a popular item here at the Circle. Uh, his wife, Mary, has done card prints and um, her, her artwork and um, they are from this area.